What's poppin' world? My dog. What's good? We're back with the family. The men, them. Come What's on, good? Man. What's good? Enjoy so listen, it. we actually have a new series on M2M. It's called The Come Up. And we're talking about, you know, the come up of great businesses, Apple, Blackberry, and a bunch of other crazy things. You guys have a crazy come up story. But for the millennials that are listening, yeah. the young guys that are coming up right now, we got a lot of people in our DMs. Yo, I got 15 grand, 20 grand. You know, I don't have enough to buy some real estate yet, King Sold, but like, where do I put my money? I'm like, yo, you guys aren't watching Market Mondays? Like, yeah, like facts. you guys aren't paying attention? Like, what, what's uh, really good? But for those that are not watching Market Mondays, a 25 year old millennial that has 25 G's right now. Or let's say, knowing what you guys know now, if you could go back 25, 25 to 25, and you got 25 G's. You got on 25 you. G's. What's, what's what do you guys do? How are you flipping that to an M? Need both y'all on this. Flip. Um, I, I never use the word flip. Uh, okay. Because flip sounds too quick. Invest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we always invest. Um, somebody who's flipping probably is trading or doing day trading. Um, I would first invest in the education mm -hmm. around it, um, what I'm trying to do. So if that is the stock market, educate myself on that. Um, I would look at the things that uh, I have interest in. And so I know inside of the market, there's 13 different sectors. But, like, they don't all, I don't have an interest in them. Mm -hmm. What I do have an interest in is technology. And so finding out what are the, the, the top companies in there, um, Apple, Microsoft being mm -hmm. the top two. Like, if we're talking, like, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I'm mm -hmm. definitely looking at those um, in terms of what they're going to be doing um, as far as innovation, how disruptive they can be. Uh, and I just spoke about this, <laughs> ironically enough, how much operating cash flow they have. So if, I, if I can see how much operating cash flow they have, I know that they can withstand some things, gotcha. whether it's volatility in the market or on the inverse side is what they can acquire, right? So if they have money, free money, then it's like, all right, if we need to invest in another company to add to our portfolio to enhance it, we have the cash to do it. Uh, so 25000 10, 15 years ago, I'm definitely looking at tech. Uh, Apple will probably be number one. And yeah, I think Microsoft probably would have been number two at the time, if not Amazon. It would have been two and three. So I probably would have invested in tech. Gotcha. What was you, Shadi? Um, 25 yeah. Gs. Sure, I think you definitely should at least invest a portion of it in the stock market. Okay. That would be beneficial, if not a majority of it in the stock market, for sure. But also, I would say to invest in yourself, like as far as, you know, business, mm -hmm. I feel that, you know, there's, there's never going to be an opportunity to make more money than you can make in business like mm -hmm. no matter what investments you have like you still got to have money to invest so i would really hone in on what you want to do and you know really invest in yourself mm -hmm. whatever that type of business is if you want to do you know clothes and you got to invest in making sure you have the highest quality possible if you want to do media you got to invest and make sure you have the highest microphones and, and higher cameraman and higher cameras and th different things of that nature like so, you know, I would really map out a business plan mm -hmm. and really see, you know, what is needed to actually financially get you up and running in business. And um, I would definitely invest in, in that. Mm. So what's your, what's your take on, like, diversification? Because some people say you could diversify too early and other people have the mindset where it's necessary to diversify in order to make it. Like we have our OG and he says, you got to do your one thing and you got to do your one thing right. <laughs> then you can do whatever you want to do, right? What do you guys think on that? Like, should everybody still be investing in the stock market, even though you may be, I don't know, uh, you may run a business, you may be a real estate so. investor, you may be whatever entrepreneur. Yeah, you never put all your eggs in one basket, I think. Like, you know, you want to have different, different things working for you at the same time. So, you know, you have a business, you can still have stocks, you can still have real estate, and you might not be a stock expert, day trading, stuff like that, but you could put money into the stock market, even if it's an index fund or ETF, more of a safe play. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you can still have a home or a real estate property that you purchased. That's, you don't have that be a real estate mogul, but it might, it's probably beneficial if you have some real estate holdings. So I feel like you got you to gotta do I do a variety of different things. Like mm -hmm. Focusing on, on a few different things at one time can become difficult. 
So, you know, that's why it's, you know, it's easy to take a more passive aggressive. Like we talk about stocks, like you don't really have to focus on that. Like if you just put money it's into your money mm -hmm. sitting, it's growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To QQQ, which is a technology index. You know, it has Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Netflix, Google, Amazon, all of those companies are inside of that. So you don't have to, you know, watch market Mondays all the time or read the Wall Street Journal to know, like, you know, just to put a little money there. Yeah, put money <laughs> in and just watch it periodically. Right. You know, you want to just still understand what's happening, but it doesn't have to take up the majority of your time. Mm -hmm. I think that that's what people kind of get. That's the misconception, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. It's yeah. like, if I have stocks, I got to watch my stocks. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's yeah, what think, people think. I think right? people get, like, they get caught up in that. Like, they, mm -hmm. it, it comes, becomes obsessive, especially when, it's, when you're making money. And that's your money, right? It's like you want to see it. You're right? watching it, and as soon as, like, there's a pullback or yeah. a correction, it's like, it's hard as that time. Yeah. Right? It's like, I can't believe it. But that's part of it. I mm -hmm. think everybody needs to, not that I want everybody to experience it, but you should. Mm -hmm. And so you can know what that feels like. You can see when there's gains. You can see when there's pullbacks. Mm -hmm. But that's why you're investing. That's why I say I don't use flip or trade, because mm -hmm. if you trade, if you have a bad trade, it might discourage you. You lose some five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, even less, sometimes a 1000 of all you invested. Your psyche is like, I'm not doing this ever yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're in it for the long term, then your psyche is going to be different. Mm -hmm. You're going to see some ebbs and flows and it, it is going to be a positive reaction to it. Cause it's like, Oh, I succeeded at this. Mm -hmm. I can do this again. Now I might put a little bit more money, but I mean like early on, like before all this, he was, I mean, obviously we're best friends. He was my financial advisor. He was okay. like, look, you got to diversify your portfolio. And I'm looking at him like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? <laughs> As I started learning more, I'm like, Oh, that makes perfect sense. Uh -huh. Right. So like if it's in the stock market or if it's in real estate, or for some crypto or for some commodities. Sometimes these things work inverse, mm -hmm. right? And so when you see the market go down, you'll watch gold and it'll peak. It's like learning these type of things are, mm -hmm. are important. Um, but then have an asset allocation too, right? Like, so if I have 100% of something, how much am I allocating toward the market? Mm -hmm. Is it 30%? Is it 40%? What does that look like? Mm -hmm. So having those parameters in place when you're gonna do it, it makes things a lot easier because mm -hmm. you're not relying like 100%. Like, yeah. if the market goes up, I'm going to make some money, mm -hmm. right? Well, if the market goes up, great. If it doesn't, I still have all these other things too. See, that's our problem, right? Like, we're heavy real estate guys, right? So yeah. I would say, if I had to quantify, I'm probably 100% invested. <laughs> <laughs> <Me too. laughs> 99.9%. Me too. I had you a little know? bit of crypto at once, but <laughs> I, I opened up my phone, I think, every, like, 30 you minutes know, an you hour. Panic. You sold everything. He's a discouraging one. Yeah. You know what's crazy, too? Yeah. I sold like a few weeks ago before XRP did that. They oh, went up crazy. Yeah. I had like a few thousand. It wasn't crazy. It was like four or five Gs I had in there. Yeah. And and I sold it. And then I seen you guys post and I checked. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I was so upset, bro. You sold Bitcoin at the at the bottom too. Yeah, bro. I, honestly, I just seen it going down. And I'm like, I didn't have that emotional intelligence, right? And I know that when you're when you're in the game, and that's why I'm saying this is it's not for everyone, it's but not. I think it's important to diversify. But for me, because I know real estate's safe, it's mm -hmm. I can touch it. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. The market goes down, I rent it out. I put it on Airbnb. You know, I wait till you know it comes back There's up. Ways, but yeah. we, we, open we, up my phone every day and seeing that chart go down, <laughs> it's it, it's a scary thing. It, it's humbling. Um, it is. I, I remember having my biggest loss. It was like a triple digit loss in a day, Oof. and I took a picture of it. Mm. Like I, I still have to. I'll show you. Yeah, we have to see that. I took the picture because because I wanted to be like. All right, this is happening. This is real, mm -hmm. but you're still okay. Yeah, yeah. How do you like, respond to it? What are you gonna do now? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like you, in my mind, I'm telling myself like you did everything you were supposed to do, right? Like the market just pulled back. This is part of it. What are you gonna do now? Mm -hmm. And I just said, you know what? I'm putting my seatbelt on. Like, I'm not riding, getting off. The, I'm not getting off this yeah, roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm staying on. Right to the wheels fall. That ended up turning into a seven figure profit, just because of like saying? going through that emotional intelligence. Uh -huh. like, all right, cool. How, how do you really feel right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how you feel. And that's one of the things he's big on is like, yo, just staying even keeled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, imagine if I had to, like, yo, honey, yeah, we lost over six figures today. Like, you can't explain <laughs> that. Like, <laughs> That'd be right? a rough conversation. It's a tough con yeah, it's a tough <laughs> conversation. So it's just like staying yeah. even keeled and like checking in with your, your emotional intelligence. Yeah. How do you feel right now? You good with this? Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. You, were, you built for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did everything you were supposed 100. to. So right, this is part of it. 100%. Mm -hmm. So speaking yeah. about losses, like, I know in business, you know, you don't really take losses. It's more lessons. You know what I mean? It's either you're winning or you're learning. Mm -hmm. So on this journey that you guys have been since you guys have started this, what is like some of your biggest losses or learning experiences from since you, you know, started EYL? Hmm. Um, as far as just, you know, 
understanding a variety of different things, but you know, understanding how to like navigate um, relationships is extremely important. You know, so some some people might start with, might not gonna finish with. So you know, you gotta just know that everybody is meant for different things, different roles. Some people, you know, might outgrow your company, or you your company might outgrow certain people. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't compromise the quality of the product by trying to save a relationship. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta sever the relationship. Sacrifice. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, that's something that, you know, a lot of people might struggle with. You know, it's a big loss if you, you know, have somebody and then you're not really in the same relationship with that person because of, you know, things that happen on the business side. But ultimately, like I said, I mean, you gotta always think about the quality of the product that you want to put out. And if that means that somebody else has to come in or you need outside help, then it's just, it is what it is. That sounds like, that sounds like Shaddy. Yeah. It's a lot of that. It's um, delegating tasks um, and learning that uh, you've got to really like trust. Um, like it's one of these things like I, I got to trust that I know he's going to do his job. And I know mm -hmm. that, right? That goes back to that friendship piece. Like, I, I know these guys so long that I know how they're going to react to certain situations. It's like I got to trust Mike to do his job. And he's got to trust me to, to, to do mine for this thing to be successful. Um, I think the biggest lesson was that this was a business. Mm -hmm. At the end like, of the day. We didn't come into it like this is going to be the thing that's going to change our lives. It was just one of these things where we were coming to add value to people's lives mm -hmm. and seeing how it can grow and then learning all the business aspects and diversifying the things we were doing. Um, that was like a biggest learning for, for me, man. It was like, oh, sh like, wait, we can turn that, we can get paid from this. We can, mm -hmm. And instruction on how does that work and, you know, making sure that we were able to learn it but be able to teach it at the same time. Mm -hmm. It was like we're, people are now looking at us like, you're the guys that's supposed to be educating us. And so like, we're making sure that we're taking in as much information as possible, but deciphering it in a way it's like, all right, we got this. We understand this. We've mastered this. All right, here's what this means. Here's mm -hmm. how you can do this. And um, that's kind of, so that, that lesson, I guess, not even a loss, but that lesson has been from the benefit of a lot of people because we had to go through it so they didn't yeah. have to. Invaluable, right? Yeah, hope that that's, so hopefully you don't have to go through that. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you have to go through that. <laughs> Raised by the roaches and rats. There right? it is. There it is. <laughs> Last question. So, they say behind every successful man is a strong woman, right? Yeah. So this is interesting because Dan and I have similar dynamics that you and um, that Rashad and, and uh, Troy have. I have a similar mindset as, as Rashad, right? When it you comes to the female aspect of life. And then you guys have very similar aspects. So yeah. what's your guys' view on it? Like, I know to some degree, I know you guys would probably say like, oh, this is so many intangible benefits, da 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 da. But there's also a fine line, in my opinion, right? That could sometimes be a distraction, right? It could pull you away from work, mm -hmm. right? I want you guys to tell us what you guys think, or like what are your thoughts, because I'm I, I'm oh. positive they're going to be opposite views, right? I don't know if they'll be polar <laughs> opposites. Oh, not there, polar. There'll be some differences. Yeah. Um, I think one thousand um, percent. My success is 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 not the same if I don't have my wife. Um, not only from just oh, you're from inspiring being, me. Yeah, not just from even being from, like, a spousal support, but she works with the company. Got you. And so, it, I mean, when you talk about trust, like, who can I trust more than her? Um, and, like, stay, you know, Shadi's, like, for a while, it's like her second husband. You know, he used mm -hmm. to eat at my house all the time. He don't do it as much. I mean, he's eating good, I guess, now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, she has our best interests in mind. Now, obviously, she didn't have my best interests in mind, too, but she's going to do whatever's best for the company and what's best for me. Um, but on top of that, the most important job is she's a mother to my children. Mm -hmm. And so, like, what are we doing this all for if we're not doing it for the next generation yeah. to pave the you way? Can't take it all with you, right? And so, like, that's my biggest investment mm -hmm. is, is her and them. And when I'm not there, because we travel, we do travel a lot, I know that they're great. Not good. Like, they're great. Yeah, great um, Because she's there and she's able to balance. I don't know how she does it. Um, I give her a lot of credit for it. But she's able to balance those two things extremely well. Does get overwhelmed. Um, but nothing, you know, shopping can't fix. <laughs> not um, an Amex can't fix. Not, yeah, nothing I can't fix. But yeah, man, it it I, a lot of a lot of the success that I've had on a personal level um has happened be, because of our union. 
I love that. Shoddy, what are you saying? <laughs> what, what are you saying, man? What are you saying? That's when the studio audience goes, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think everybody's situation is different. Like, you know, I mean. What's your situation? You, you call me. <laughs> They want to know walk on. Like, don't talk about everybody's situation. What's your situation? <laughs> nah, what's, your, what's your philosophy? I mean, my philosophy is like, you know, you got to, regardless of anything, you know, you have to figure out what you want in life and you have to be able to provide it for yourself before right. you can provide it for somebody else. So it's like, yeah, if you're blessed to be in a relationship and, you know, that's great. But everybody is not in a relationship. So it's like, I can't say, like, oh, my wife is the reason why I'm successful, because that's not true. <laughs> yeah, I, got I can only speak for my own personal truth. Uh -huh. So for me, it wasn't anybody that was pushing me or holding me down yeah, like that. Push it, yourself. Was, it was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it can be done. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people say, like, it can't be done unless you have it. Well, that's not true, because I'm living yeah, dude, proof that it can, be, it. it can be done. It might be more difficult, but life is always going to be difficult. But I just feel like, you know, Everybody has to walk their own journey. And is it beneficial if you have somebody that is supportive? Yeah. But it's, it could also be extremely detrimental if you're with the wrong person. It's 100%, harmful. 100%. And the op, that, a lot of people don't talk about that. 100%. Like, it talks about the saying? good shit, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like just like... Good morning, what happened? Nah, it's real. Just like, <laughs> just like it could help you. It could, it could be your biggest... Downfall. Downfall. It's mm -hmm. a fact, mm -hmm. right? From a mental standpoint, from a financial standpoint, from mm -hmm. having to, you know, argue and and not being a good yeah. space to even go out yeah, and, and perform game. at your highest level possible. Yeah. So I feel like you know, choosing your partner is extremely important. No, that's the, that's the and, and your success. The most important contract you ever signed in your life. It's a fact, right? Yeah, you signed that dotted line. That's yep. like. My OG used to tell me it's a bad contract, but you know, <laughs> it's a 360 deal, you know what I'm saying? This is, this, this, is like, this is like bad boys, right? So like we get, I get to be, play Martin and he gets to play uh, Mike Larry. Oh okay, yeah. I, Mike, Mike had a sick whip, you know? He, Mike was always driving fly, man. Yeah, well, yeah. But he had a Ferrari too. at 4.30? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, I'm a car guy, you know what time it is. That's but listen, fun. I know we got to wrap up soon. We're looking forward to Invest Fest. Yes. Atlanta. I haven't been to Atlanta before. I've been to like Covington, Georgia. I've been like on the outskirts, but I haven't been to ATL. So I see the lineup. I see Diddy. I see Robert Smith. I see Rich Paul. You know, we were just in the club with these guys the other day. You know, <laughs> it's the lineup looks crazy. Um, it looks like there's going to be a lot of money in the building. Like, I actually wonder the net worth of everyone collectively. The aggregate. Now, you guys might have to have, you know, when your yeah. admins add that up because. It's. I know it's billions. in the B's for sure. Definitely, yeah, but it's, 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 it's starts in the B's. Billions, it's, it's billions. billions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, That's the baseline. There's, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of money in the building. Yeah, we're rolling very, very deep, <laughs> and um, we looking forward to this, bro. Like it's it's gonna be a movie, bro. I can't yeah. even. I don't even know what to fathom. I just know it's gonna be a movie. Yeah. I'm excited for y'all, man. Like <laughs> when you told me that the other day, and yeah, like I'm just excited for y'all to see the city of Atlanta number mm -hmm. one. Sure. Wakanda, just, as they call it, yeah, right? Wakanda, I, I want to see Alex it. Is saying. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is that. And I, I'm excited to, I want to be there when you guys walk into InvestFest and see actually what this thing is. Um, because it's it's bigger than us. Mm -hmm. right? Like, Yeah, we were, we were able to, to put it together, but it means so much to so many people. And so to have people come down for the first time to see it in person and experience it, I think it's incredible. I think. I want to see the reaction when you guys are there. Yeah. And then when you come back home, like, yo, our lives are never going to be the same because of this moment. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing stories like that. Yeah. For I, sure. I that will like, be the testimony. I want to thank you guys for always, you know, showing us love every time uh, we come in Toronto. Sure. Appreciate the hospitality. Very important. Sure. I was talking to 19 Keys about this, and I was like, um, you know, we went to, I went to Abu Dhabi, me and Troy, for Steve Harvey's golf tournament. And, you know, the United Arab Emirates, there's different Emirates. I think there's like five or six Emirates. Mm -hmm. And each emirate is known for something different. But Abu Dhabi specifically, they're really known for hospitality. They take great pride in, in, in um, having hospitality. And I was saying that a lot of people don't even know what hospitality is. Not to their fault because they was just never educated on hospitality. But different parts of the world, it's like that's what they pride themselves on. Like, you know, you can't do anything if you come. If they take care of you, they feed you, they do everything like that. That's something as a culture, like a lot of times we don't fully understand the value of hospitality. And once again, because we, we wasn't really fully educated on hospitality. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. like, yo, 
I got to get it for myself. And it's mm -hmm. just this doggy dog world. And it's not something that, you know, people fully understand. So, you know, definitely appreciate the hospitality because obviously sure. you, know, you guys and your whole entire team nah, it's really lovely, go man. overboard and, and really, you know, but that's important because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, that's something that is an intangible part of success that you really can't teach. Mm -hmm. You got to have it kind of ingrained in you. And um, I say that to say, definitely want to return. Like, we're not from Atlanta, but Atlanta's like our home. Like, you no, know, Atlanta's like ours, like as far as like everything in Atlanta, from restaurants to the clubs to everything. Like, you know, that's like anything in Atlanta is like, you know, that's easy. So definitely want to make sure you guys have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hit five minutes forever. And we doing something over there. Can we do a part two of Alex's party? Because that, that looked crazy. If we can set it up for that weekend, just any one of those days, we're there for a week. So I'm not picky. Any day you guys want to choose, we do it at him 500 crib. And... We, got, we got to do brunch at one of the houses or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we'll take Why not? That. For sure, for sure. I now, see it on the ground. I want to see it in real life. You know? nah, it's it looks, amazing. It's a nice piece of real estate. Y'all going to definitely have a good time in Atlanta. Me, I'm sure y'all going to meet a bunch of great people. And... um yeah, man, I'm glad that the kids are coming as well. That's mm -hmm. going to be dope for them to experience. Of course. But, uh, yeah, man, we're going to have some fun. You got to have fun with it at the end of the day, too. Like, you know, we're going to learn, right. we're going to educate, we're going to meet people. But Entertainment, right? You got to have fun, That's for it. sure. That's you got to have fun. Very important. Yep. Say no more. ATL up next. Oh, man. Say no more. We out. <laughs> Number six. Yeah. It's love, it's love, it's love. It's love, 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 love. love, love.